Hey, what's up everybody? Johnny Citra from Powder Magazine here. This is behind the cover, November 2012 issue. Dave Reddick, our esteemed photo editor, is on Skype right now with Matthias Fredrickson, Fredrickson, who just scored his third ever powder cover with the November 2012 cover. Pretty sweet. These are his first two covers. And uh, Dave's, Dave's chatting with him right now. He's on the road in Sweden, and he has no idea that he's got the got the cover photo of Henrik Winstead in Austria on a Powder Magazine uh, feature summit. So let's go, uh, let's go surprise Matthias and see what Dave's saying to him. So we got this document I want you to check out. It's uh, right here. Oh, you recognize wow. that? Wow. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah, it's the uh, November cover. Right. Shot of Henrik. I think this belongs to you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> yes, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank you. My third powder cover, the, every one of them has been on Hendrick. This is your hat trick, the double hat trick. Yeah. Congratulations, bro. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Hendrick has became uh, dad for the second time here. I actually haven't been able to talk to him since then, so uh, pretty Pretty cool. That it, yeah, Matthias. Time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Congratulations, man. Thanks. Yes. So, um, yeah, how's it feel? Yeah. Black and white cover again of Hendrik. The first cover I ever had of powder was that rail shot. Was also a black and white one. You want to get your lady in here and maybe impress her with this uh, accomplishment? Yeah, so you want to tell us a little bit about this day, about getting this photograph? Yeah, yeah. Um, can you put it up one more time? I just want to see the detail there. Yeah, you see the road down here? Yeah. That's the connection road between um, Steuben, Austria, and um, Sears. Um, this is in the St. Anton Alberg area. And this was on assignment for powder for the Austria feature, correct? Exactly, yeah. yeah. This day was actually the first day we arrived in, in this uh, region. We had been in Innsbruck before. And if I'm not wrong, I think I picked up Henrik on the airport the night before uh, in Innsbruck. And then it was snowing, you know. And when we came to St. Anton, it snowed even more. So I said to him that tomorrow would be a good day. And then we didn't have the weather really. And then we hooked up with Stefan Hoysa, which is a local St. Anton skier. And uh, he said, oh, I know where to go. And then uh, we were hoping for clear skies, because this spot, when it's clear, it's it's super cool. Yeah. And like, nice views and everything. But I was kind of happy that we didn't have that weather, because these shots we've seen many times before. So yeah, we had pretty stormy weather but then we still had visibility so we were able to shoot towards the, the tunnel which is very different like uh, I mean it, it doesn't look like that everywhere right yeah yeah and this tunnel I don't know when it was built but I mean it hasn't been there forever so before you couldn't even reach that valley back in the day yeah yeah from that side so and it's really good skiing around there so it was uh and it was pretty deep, as you see. So. Yeah. yeah. I think as yeah. a photographer, there's a certain amount of commitment with a shot like this, right? You kind of get in the POV, you're right there in the action. Yeah, and, it was uh, a little bit uh, sketchy, actually. So Stefan, uh, who is um, um, a ski guide in there uh, uh, as well, he, um, he was a little bit worried uh, on this side. So it was a little bit, it, was, it didn't slide, but it was still, you got to be a little bit careful. So yeah, you don't want to yeah. go too close. <laughs> Well, nice job. We're all really happy with this shot. And uh, another cover for you, Matthias. Congratulations.